All right. Oh man, I fell down a mountain. I died. What's up? You're hanging with creatures. If you're new here. Subscribe. I do appreciate it when you do. I died big time. I found fell down this mountain. Probably cut it out. Funny though. Guys slowed down right there. There's some wolves or something. Pretty entertaining. Oh man, I used to remember when I got distracted and I used to pick plants and on all the animals. Like I said, on the first playthrough, it took me forever. Reset. Set up camp, craft, leave. That's cool. So many features I forget about in this game. Oh, yeah, we just took out part of the Crisco family. Crisco? Is it, yeah, I think it is. Everything's gone now. Even the table in the middle. Okay, let's go. Out here. Of course, everyone's dead, but at least we can come through here again and see if there's anything. Probably not. Oh, nice. Tomahawk. That's worth getting. Reload is okay. Haven't reloaded enough in this game. Get back there. Another tomahawk. Throwing knife. Walk around this way. Let's see if there's anything back here. Yeah, a lot of good stuff back here. All right. Famous Gunslinger Part 2. Otis Miller Boys. One at twelve. Oh, I'm glad we came back. Eat a wagon. Yeah, we just took out a gang here.
Okay. Get on my horse. Don't need to figure out how to do the auto um, riding. Come out here. Is it to claim his debt? Oh, we are close by. Probably go there first. Helps if I mark it, huh? Hot out today. How you all doing with the temperature? It's winter. go down in here and then if I cause any more trouble then I can pay off my debt since I have a five dollar bounty Oh, he is in the saloon, okay. Sir, try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. I'm dusted. The dead got off lucky. The living got to keep suffering. Same as always. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. 
Uh, I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot them? It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it. Excuse me. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to them. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. All right, so we did that. All right, side quest of those. Right. What else do we have? We're on the journey on the way there. We all circle around the back way. Nothing exciting there. We're going to go around this way. We don't need to do anything in town. I have a bounty on my head. Only $5. Back then, that was a lot. Forget how many times I used to fall off mountains. What the hell are you doing here? Get out of here now, or I'll make you leave. Just looking to pass, that's all. <laughs> no, no. I don't think you get it. We got this bridge exclusive, like. You idiots really want to <laughs> die over a crossing? Looks like this one got a thick skull. <laughs> Maybe we should put some windows in it. Shoot the fool! There's no best in the I had no guns in that battle.
Wow. Got a shotgun. Mr. Thomas Downs, you owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm. We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. The debt will be paid when I can pay it, sir. There's, there's nothing more I can say. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. You have to be more reasonable. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? Running out on debt. I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please, please show some compassion. Please. Strauss told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? If I'm here, there's a reason I'm here. If you'd been good, this wouldn't be happening. Now, wouldn't paying up have been a little easier? How's that debt looking now? Please, please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of <coughs> charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more. Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Uh oh. Oh, Arthur.
I haven't visited here yet. First bank robbery news scrap. Flower. Well, the back side is where I need, right? Probably. You'd be happy to be off that mountain. Oh, I don't know. Is it on the side that I have to go to? I thought it was like you can look and see. Maybe it's not there yet. Is that later in the game? He's all the way out here. Let's go talk to him. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. So you like the new camp, Jack? Sure. It's fine. How long you think we'll be here? Who knows? Probably just until we start to get settled. Ladies? Aren't you cold in just that? Everything okay? I guess. Bored? Well, we need to get you out on another job again soon. All right, Arthur. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. I'm sober. If that's what you mean. Okay. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay. about that but we care about you you seem very sad my life took a turn for the worse when I took up with morphine and opium I was told it would alleviate my suffering and in many ways they were correct it made all my previous suffering just seem ridiculous now I had real suffering, and I lost everything, my vocation, my faith, my family. Okay, cool. <laughs> I like... I must have done. And you poor people, I would have lost my life long ago. Um, I'm sorry about that. So am I. And yet I know in a few days I'll be back at it. Kevin Kit. Okay, what up? Where is this lit up here? Is it then? Sure is.
We gotta add all this gear. Weapon locker on the front side. Arthur. Ah, uh, what a delightful surprise. Hello, Karen. Dutch, Miss O'Shea. Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. <laughs> You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. And they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah. Dutch. Arthur. What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry. It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. All right, new mission. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side offer. What were you boys doing? You are supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you gonna go get them? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drank that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? What you oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. Can you leave me alone? Jesus! 
looking, Pran? Good on you. Get a fresh start. All righty. That is one clean slate. Thanks, partner. Just talking about something. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. Yeah. All right. Bitter bounty going in to drink some. <laughs> 